And you're watching ENCA on DSTV Channel 43. It's election day in South Africa. We're bringing you live rolling coverage of what's happening around the country. Let's go to KwaZulu-Natal now, where police officers have been deployed to monitor the situation in the area of Mkambatini. This follows voting disruption by disgruntled community members. Letu M. Luli, reporter for ENCA, joining us now live. She's on the ground, Mkambatini. Police are on the the ground, Letiwe, what is the situation like? Have they managed to control the disruptions? Well, but then for now, everything seems to be under control. There is an increased po police visibility in Dogo's voting station. What we do know is that this voting station was actually vandalized overnight last night. I'm actually going to ask my colleague, Sihlengiti, to show you the amount of police present at the moment. They are currently doing investigations, trying to find out what exactly transpired here overnight. But we do understand that there's been some disputes by community members. Um, what exactly those disputes are, we do not know. But some community members that I've been speaking to are saying that they woke up at around 11 p.m. last night and they heard gunshots. But they did not think much of it. But when they actually arrived at this voting station yesterday morning at 7 a.m., to cast their votes. The, the voting station was closed and IEC officials were telling them that they could not come in because um, the station was burnt down. We did attend um, the IEC briefing earlier on in Durban where they did confirm that this voting station was vandalized and burnt down and they told us that police are currently um, conducting investigations to find out exactly why the station was vandalized. As you can see um, at the moment, the, the queue, the amount of people in the queue waiting to cast their votes. They are telling us that they were only able to come here at this voting station at around 12 p.m. this afternoon. They are now waiting patiently in line so they can actually cast their votes. We are now, I'm trying to actually speak to one community member just to basically find out how they are feeling because this has been a long time for them, long time coming, and they want to cast their votes. They've been here waiting patiently, but then um, I'm now joined by Uma Masabonunjani. Happy. Mm. <laughs> Okay, we apologize for that loss in connection there to Leti Wim Lule after speaking to one of uh, the women of that area, M. Kambatin, who's gone to vote. That's voting station. The good news is it's now open and running smoothly, but it's been delayed. They only started operating normally at 12 o'clock. That was what we understood from Leti where they after those threats. And the police are on the ground investigating and making sure it continues. But for now, let's move on to...